things, you can either cut and reflect them back so that you can see things, or you can leave them in place and just kind of shove them over to the side. I'm going to show you guys the ones that are shoved over to the side. So this is your sterno going to the highway. So sterno highway, that was one you saw last week. The one that's going from the shoulder to the hyoid bone is your omo hyoid. You guys all see that? Mm -hmm. And then the one going from your sternum to your mastoid, your sternomastoid, saw that last week. Shove that over. So the one going from your clavicle to your mastoid is your clitomastoid. And then the one, another one that you should have seen last week is the one going from your clavicle to, you, to your cervical vertebrae, it's a clitocervicalis. Okay. <laughs> then we move over to lifting up your pectoralis muscle. You have your... Uh, Leftus thoracis, this little thin piece that'll come directly across your rectus abdominis, which is this. And then if you lift this up, this muscle that's right next to your rectus abdominis, right here, it's your scolenius with a C. Okay. And then, since we're here, we'll just move over to serratus ventralis. The little points come down low. You lift up your latissimus dorsi. See how the points are higher up? That's your serratus dorsalis. On top of your serratus dorsalis is this like clear white tissue. That's your aponeurosis. Okay. What is it? Aponeurosis, it's this like clear whitish connective tissue stuff. Can you turn it? Which way? This way? Yeah. This stuff. It's aponeurosis. It's just connective tissue. Okay. Thing that's not in here, but is in your printout that you had to print out from online, you have two rows a really thick banded muscle running along the back, that's your erector spinae. Okay? Good. We move up to the shoulder, and you have your cervical trapezius that's cut and reflected. Here you have your rhomboideus and your rhomboideus, and between and underneath your rhomboideus is your splenius with a P. Okay. Then we move on to the shoulder in general. You have your supraspinatus, which is on this side, as well as when you flip it over, it's on this side as well. So it kind of goes around both sides. Do you know what bodies by chance? Put her over there on my desk. Right what there. Do your guys bag. Her it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know where the other. Oh, there's some bags right there. Is it empty? You could try repairing the rip with tape. What? You could try repairing the rip with tape. It's okay. We're only going to Chino. Okay. Okay. Um. So you had your supraspinatus, which was on the top and wrapped around to the back, and your teres major, which is on the bottom and also wraps around to the back. And on the back, on this side, is your subscapularis, and underneath your spinodeltoid is your infraspinatus. And then when you do your reflection of your arm, you lift up your tensor fascia antibrachii, which typically runs all the way across. You just cut it. You see that it starts to be able to be divided into some sections. 
the top one that's the thickest region is your triceps, brachii, long head. Directly below that is your triceps, brachii, medial head. Below that, which runs along here and here, is your coraco brachialis. Directly below that is your biceps brachii short head. And the bottom most one is your biceps brachii long head. And if you flip it over, you can still see your biceps brachii long head on the side. And directly above that, it's your brachialis. Can you flip that? Flip this so you can see the part you just did. So, biceps, brachii, short head, and brachialis. Can you guys all see that? And there's a nicer rectus thoracis. Showing how you should cut and reflect. You just can't see the rectus abdominis quite as nicely. That's rectus thoracis. Okay? Anything that I missed or that you would like to see?